All right, we're back from vacation. We're done dealing with family. I know you love your family, but there are a lot to deal with. It's time to set goals. Every year, we always set goals about what we want to accomplish in that in that year. Sometimes they're written down, which are the ones that we actually follow through with, and sometimes they're just said out loud, and we just forget about them in two weeks. So let's talk about goals for your company in 2022, right? So in 2021, it was a banner year for seeing cyber attacks in the mainstream media to see how it affects us, to see the supply chain just get absolutely attacked. It's time to set a goal in your business to talk about implementing a cybersecurity framework. And if you haven't thought about that, well, let's do that now. So let's talk about it. So I think before we get started, we have to talk about first steps. So where do you start, right? So you want to start by setting goals for your cybersecurity program with regards to your business needs. Uh, now that's going to be involving stakeholders from across the organization. If you're a small company, it could be the owner and maybe you have an operations manager or something like that that helps you, works alongside of you. It could be an office manager. If you're a larger company, you're going to want to get the C-suite involved, upper management, all the way down to support and IT teams because we need to have a risk assessment process that go that's done and it needs to be able to go through and set a risk tolerance for the business. So whatever your level is, whatever your risk tolerance level is for the business, that's determined by all the stakeholders. Now, when you start deciding where to start the implementation, this is like going to feel like probably trying to boil the ocean, right? Because it's very intimidating to look at the entire organization and, and, and do this. So what you probably want to do is pick a single department and kind of do like a trial run. This can uncover lessons and about what works, what doesn't work, and it'll help you succeed overall. And it's going to allow you to have best practices for a wider rollout. Now, from there, we want to try to identify the type of data the organization um, <clears throat> processes and map it out for its life cycle. So a simple model will help you lay out a foundation for understanding the organi organization's cybersecurity risk and identify points along the way um, along your supply chain to invest more time and resources. Because maybe there's parts of your organization you don't necessarily need to invest a bunch of time and resources for cybersecurity, but other ones are critical to your business that you have to focus more on. So there's business tools or software um, that are often important so sources and collectors of data. So we may even want to ask vendors about the data privacy policies to ensure that they reflect your goals. So if you use a lot of third parties, talk to your vendor. Make sure that they align their goals with yours. And with a basic understanding of the goals, the project scope, uh, your current data privacy and lifecycle processes, it'll be much easier to select a cybersecurity framework. So next we'll talk about how do you pick the right cybersecurity framework for your business. A good cybersecurity framework, it's going to help you identify risks uh, protect your company assets, including your customer data. And also, it's going to put you in uh, in a good place to have steps to detect, respond, and recover from a cybersecurity event. So there are many frameworks out there. Um, I'm going to talk mostly about NIST, which is the National Institute of Standard Technologies. They have multiple frameworks you can follow specific to what type of business you are. And I'm also going to talk about CMMC. All right, let's talk about the NIST cybersecurity framework, or NIST CSF. Uh, it was developed in 2014 for the private sector critical infrastructure like utilities, water supply, telecommunications, and financial services. Oh, and also healthcare. It's a voluntary set of guidelines uh, that outlines a series of policies and controls you can put in your business. And the framework guides cybersecurity activities through the lens of aligning risk management with your business needs. Now, it's composed of three parts, the core, the implementation tiers, and the framework profiles. And it was designed so that any organization can apply the, the principles and the best practices. Now, the framework is widely recognized as a definitive set of security best practices throughout the industry. It contains five core functions. So that's going to be identify, protect, detect, respond, and recover. Now, over the next few weeks, I'm going to make a few videos breaking down those five. And it's kind of critical to what we're doing because we're, we've chosen NIST CSF as a baseline for what we try to implement in every business that is a customer of ours. So we use that as our baseline. Now we can adapt to other frameworks based on 
on the needs of the business, but that's the base that we've chosen. And even if you can't deploy all of it, just deploying some of NIST CFS controls, it's going to reduce your cybersecurity risk while increasing your man management efficacy. So let's move on to NIST 853 and NIST 800-171. So if you do government work, you're going to implement one of these levels. Uh, CMMC, or the Cybersecurity Maturity Model Certification 2.0, which just got released in November, is really going to be the benchmark that replaces those as far as for most federal contracts, as far, especially for the Department of Defense. There was 1.0 that was released in December of 2020, but it's already been replaced by 2.0, which took it from five levels down to three levels, took it down from a third-party audit to a government-led audit, and it's triannual. So there's a lot more changes that are there. We're still trying to iron out all those changes, but understand that there are other frameworks inside of there. There's also CIS controls you can implement in your business. Uh, there's multitude of other frameworks. There's some ISO frameworks that you can implement, but we're going to focus specifically on NIST because the, it's NIST CSF is really the baseline for a lot of the other frameworks. So I think it's important to understand that cybersecurity is a business decision. Now, whether your business is just starting off uh, in your cybersecurity journey, or you're looking to improve your policies and procedures that you already have in place, investing in cybersecurity is a long-term solution. There's a ton of work behind this. Understanding risk management, understanding the risk tolerance for your business, having all of your leaders in your company come together as one to map out business processes, to map out um, how, what you're gonna do if an incident happens. Using a framework makes that easier. It simplifies that transition from not having any, from having nothing to having something in place. And you don't have to do it overnight. This can be a this can be something that we implement over the entire year of 2022. You just have to figure out where to start and go from there. Now we're here to help you start that. We we have some software that we use to track all of this. We can do spreadsheets too, but that's kind of a crappy way of doing things honestly you really want like a platform where you can actually track your progress through mapping this out so we understand where we are in the process right so maybe you can only implement part of it today especially NIST you know with maybe CSF maybe you can only implement part of it in the first quarter because you have so much work being done that's cool let's just start together let's start together let's work towards the goal of implementing something like NIST CSF in your business if you need something more uh, like CMMC or NIST 853 or 171, or if maybe you're dealing with ISO, maybe you're an automotive and ISO is pushing down on you. Look, we can help you with all of that. We have software that can track a lot of this, and we have a par great partnership um, with other companies that have software that can track this as well. So I'm Chris Burson, Take It Yours. Appreciate you. And until next time, stay cyber safe.